Hello, I'm Christy Duncan. I'm delighted to be chatting, chatting today with Doegu Yenowan Schmidt, who's Vice President and Global Head of Product and Marketing at American Express Network Services in American Express, based in London. Welcome, Doegu. Oh, thank you, Christy. Thank you for having me. We're so excited. So perhaps we could start with a couple words of introduction. If anybody's new to My Career in Six, we're going to start with rapid fire questions, really just looking for one word answers, followed by six more detailed questions. So we can dig a little bit deeper. What or who inspires you? My grandma growing up and then my late leader, Ed Gilligan, during my career at Amex and um, in my sisterhood. Do you attribute your success to luck or hard work? Lots of hard work with a little bit luck. Awesome. What drives you? My family, my team, and doing good for community. Favorite quote or motto that you live by? Live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever by Gandhi. When applying for a new opportunity, what percentage of required attributes do you feel you need to have a deep experience in to be confident in your application? 60%. 60? 60, six zero. Wow, awesome. Last quick question. What's the coolest payments company today? There are many. Um, I'll pick an MX partner, I2C. Awesome. Okay, so now that we know a little bit more about you, let's move on to the more in-depth questions about your career journey. What yeah. has been your bigger, biggest challenge as you climbed the ladder in the payments industry? I would say the biggest challenge I faced has been overcoming stereotypes, um, especially early in my career. Um, I have a bubbly personality, and I was told that I was too smart to be this bubbly. And as you may imagine, that knocked out confidence um, on top of being away from home and working in a native um, environment with English. Um, so I think that was not a good situation. And to overcome, I leaned into content, right? Building um, knowledge and working really hard and leveraging my um, strengths around numbers and strategy to continue to build confidence. Great answer. And that dovetails right perfectly into our next question. What do you feel has been your greatest accomplishment in your career? Um, so most of my career has been with Amex, right? I have been with them for 17 years, held a number of roles in consumer merchant network and spearheaded our international strategy um, as chief of staff to president and then um, head of strategy for international consumer. Uh, but I am most proud of having established three brand new teams all from um, ground up. And, and that I would say is my proudest um, accomplishment in the company. Indeed. Wow. If there were one thing you would have done differently, what would that have been? I would say if I could go back and tell myself to change one thing, that would be never to, to sort of rely on one sponsor, um, regardless of how senior and strong that sponsor may be, because sponsors may leave. And that has happened to me a number of times. And I would say continue to put the time in to building sponsorship relationships, at least two at any given time. Sponsorship. Great answer. And what would advice would you give to aspiring women professionals in this industry? I think sort of hinted with sponsorship, right? Um, and I do think mentorship as well. Like you want to have mentors you can trust and have open conversations with um, because they are not really always your sponsors, right? Sponsor is someone who fights for you and gives you your next job. Mentor is someone you can talk about any issue or any topic that you need in, a, in an open way and um, being yourself. I think those two are incredibly important, as well as making investment into establishing your tribe or sisterhood that I just um, mentioned, group of women who support and challenge each other. I love it. How important have networks and connections been in building your career in this industry? I would say hugely important. Um, I joined MX actually through a connection I made um, during my brief time in consulting. Um, last number of roles in the company have all been facilitated by internal network 
mentors or sponsors. Um, and of course, the support system um, that I also mentioned is incredibly important. And support system comes in tribe, female supporting females, or um, other friends that you need to tap into to either build confidence or get grounded and gain perspective. Fantastic. Last question. As a senior female leader, Doyu, how have you helped shape the culture of MX? Yeah. I built the product and marketing function for our network business and recruiting diverse talent in a number of markets across um, the world, onboarding and nurturing them, creating a driven and inclusive team culture. Um, our culture is built on values such as collaboration, respect, integrity, where everyone feels safe to challenge the status quo and raise their opinions, which I value incredibly. I champion diversity and inclusion um, and demonstrate this through obviously recruitment in my team, but also um, leading our executive women's network um, in EMEA and pushing the envelope for, for all of us, um, not only on business issues, but also on d &I topics. Awesome. On that very inspiring note, thank you so much, Doigu, for your time and for sharing your career journey. Oh, thank you for having me. Thanks to everybody for listening. And I enjoy, encourage everyone to join us online for our many other episodes of My Career in Six, where we chat with inspirational leaders from around the world of payments. <laughs>